Hi and welcome to this week's episode of Duck Chatter. So on this week's episode, I got something a little bit different than the usual. I had the privilege back in the first week of October to fly out to Salt Lake City, Utah for their opening weekend of duck season. I got to hunt with Mr. Dave Reynolds, Excel Boats, and Mud Buddy National Sales Manager. So the opening day hunt, it's basically pass shooting, uh, lots of teal, very fast pace, and that's what's going to be on this episode right here. Also, later that morning, we drove over to Mud Buddy to take a tour of the facility over there, which was kind of awesome to see the Mud Buddy motors being put together, kind of just seeing how they do that, and wanted to share that with you as well. Also, I wanted to talk about our season here. You know, the split, we've been in a split, so it's been out for almost, well, it's a 10-day split, but anyway, it's still really dry here in Arkansas. I don't know about other states, but right now we are dry, dry. There's just no water. So we're supposed to have rain this weekend. I hope, I hope that we get enough to maybe get some other places with some water. So have some place for some ducks. But right now it is tough in Arkansas. But anyway, without further ado, here's this week's episode and I hope you enjoy. No, here, here. There you go, you see it now. Y'all gonna shoot them? I can't believe I hit that one. I, I barely caught up to it in time. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's fast paced. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. Dang, oh. I couldn't get in front of that one. Come on, Chuck, right here. To your left. Come. What oh. is that? I guess that one got away. I only can. I got one more. There's a cinnamon, really? It was that a cinnamon? Yeah, there's a cinnamon. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I, I only can shoot one more. Limit seven, right? Uh, yeah. You want me to pick these up? I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. 
Here. He's, he's like, you don't own me. You want me to go get that one? Okay. Thanks, sir. In the decoys, in the decoys. Redhead. Yeah. That, that guy's standing right there, see him? Yeah. At the end of that point. No, I'm counting. No, we got a few more. Welcome to Mud Buddy. Welcome to our shop. Let me show you around. Right here, we've got our first section here where we started out. Uh, Juan just uh, walked away, um, getting back. He's been working for our company for over 17 years, building our drive and frame section. Juan, yes, sir. why don't you walk forward and introduce yourself? And How you doing? My name is Juan. I do the mounting, mount the motors, do the paperwork. Um, to install the transmission and push it to the next guy which is the drive you know and you've been here i've been here 17 years done almost every section around here that's awesome part of what makes our company great yes, sir. so if you look at the drives here are castings we've stuck with this casting for since fairly early in the beginning because it is extremely tough and reliable parts of this casting are over a half inch thick we have the material where it needs to be and thinner where it doesn't need to be so that we can get the optimized strength versus weight when it comes to the, the style and these things. These things have been through all kinds of stuff and over the tens and tens of thousands of motors we've made, we've hardly seen any break over the last 25 plus years. Um, been through car accidents, been through all kinds of crazy stuff. I know we put them through the stuff too. <laughs> yes, it had to go through. It's uh, it's pretty impressive what that will go through without before they uh, without breaking. Jaime, I'd like you to introduce you to Echo Calls. Jaime is the guy who does our drive work. Hello. <laughs> um, Jaime, you've been here well over. How long have you been here again? We've been here for nine years. Nine years. He's our he's currently our our drive guy. Um, he's one of the guys that makes sure that drives are done right. This is a very critical part of our assembly. Everything has to be straight. Everything has to be aligned. And um, if there's one of the parts, you know, all of this is important. But this is an important job to make sure that. Um, everything's right to make sure that everything runs reliably and for a very long time. 
the shafts on these things, we make out of, um, out of a special steel um, and we straighten them to very high tolerances. This steel is about three times stronger than normal stainless steel. It's a stainless steel alloy that a precipitation hardening stainless steel alloy that is very, very strong and holds up to a lot of abuse because our people put it through it. We do the wiring in this section. Um, Caesar. Caesar is one of our main wiring specialists. He's been with us also well over 10 years. Um, the professional, he's very good at making sure all of the wiring, everything is done well, done right, done correctly. Uh, Frosty on the other side of you installs the wiring. Also, um, um, you know, also very experienced and very good at what they do. Chase. Hi. Welcome to our video. How you doing? Doing good. good. This is Chase. Hi. Chase. Yes, Echo calls. Oh, nice. And um, Chase does the finish work, inspection. He's the guy that uh, does all the final work, make sure it's all put together and, um, you know, and ready for final inspection. Um, Chase has been with us. My goodness, he's been here over 10 years. Ah, uh, just under. Just under? Just under, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's been, been quite a while. Um, oh, yeah, I was here when we first, when the yeah. first came out. Yeah, and a big part, of, a big part, these people are all a huge part of how we're able to put together a consistent product and, a, and, and, and keep the quality level up and everything through the experience that they bring to put to our, our machines. This is our final inspection area. And this is where we get this load of motors ready for, for, for going out. And there we come over to our final crating area where they get these motors ready to package and get them ready to ship out and go crate. And that's the quick tour of our factory. Well, I sure do appreciate it. Why, well, thank you very much. Well, I sure hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode. You know, I had a blast flying out there and hanging out with Dave and getting to shoot some different ducks that I've never shot. I actually shot a, a few cinnamon teal while I was there. Um, and just seeing that scenery and hunting something, or should I say, hunting a different type of landscape in a different way was awesome to do. You know, I've hunted marshes and I, I've hunted timber, open water, and I've hunted different states, but that out there is just a totally different type of hunting. And, you know, and I really enjoyed it and, you know, I'll probably go back next year. But anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.